you friends, it's Dawny P here and welcome to my YouTube channel today. Hope everybody's safe and well and that everybody's had a nice Christmas and a very happy new year. Here's to a good 2021. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you today is the latest Tonic Studios Designer Choice die set. And this one, this is die set number 15. I can't believe we're up to 15 already. This is a delicate daisy gift box and it's so pretty. So I'll show you briefly what the, all the dies are and what they do. And I've cut them out in white and I'll just put them on some uh, black card. The die cuts on black card so you can see them. So here, let's put you there and you can see them. These two here are your main pieces. They look identical, but they're actually not. One's got a slit in it and one hasn't. And that's because when you put them together, that's going to act as a locking mechanism like that. I'll show you that when we, when we put um, one together get it out there we go so that's those then we've got um our base which is a hexagon base um that's always useful for other things as well we've got that um uh, now onto the decoration so we've got quite an array here we've got um these sort of petally shapes which i think are great Let me turn them around these sort of three petals and the it's a verso set so you've got your outside edge and you've got your inside edges and these are all your inside edge dies for those this one here it's so cute that makes a little um leaf that's what that one looks like really nice i mean that's useful for other things isn't it not just for this set if you're wondering if you're new to tonic dies um as some some of you might be and we talk about a verso edge all that means is we we've, we've separated the design into an out the outside part and the inside part so this is your outside part and if that when that cuts out it looks like that and you and there's nothing wrong with using them like that we, we use our outside edges all the time but if you want to cut um a pattern into that outside edge you would cut that like that and that's what you end up with okay so that's all um, I mean, when, or what we mean when we're talking about verso edges. So that's those. You've got um, the choice of a, a a sort of straight edge, you know, with no, like a straight edge. I don't really know how to explain it. And one with a scalloped edge. So you've got the choice there. It's, it's nice to have a choice sometimes, isn't it? So those are those. And then these three here are your uh, patterns, your inside edges three different designs and they're absolutely beautiful so let's move you out of the way and we'll have a look at the others let's get those out of the way now coming down further down your box you've got your side panels here 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 and here and that's what um these dies i've not put those very straight have i so these are your straight um straight cut ones and you've got the same again with um with a scalloped edge if you want that that's those I'll just show you one of each quickly that's those there and they fit on there should have done them in a different color really they fit on there then again if you want to cut a pattern into it you've got five different um, inside edges with this which is brilliant with those so you've got three patterns and you've got two that say uh, with words on one says a little something and one says fun little box Now you I think you could use they'd make really nice tags um you know with other other dies that you might have in your in your collection um so they're they're very useful so we've got those let's move those before i drop them on the floor and then to decorate this panel here which is like your middle panel you've got again the same but slightly smaller and um, you have a choice of three inside edges with those so that's the outside edge again um straight or with a scallop and you've got three patterns there which mirror the patterns um, on the larger size so that's useful and then these two here let's get rid of these honestly it's like I don't know right past the parcel so you've got these here um, that's got your scalloped edge and that's got a straight edge and they decorate that top bit, let's get one that's clean, um, that little top bit there. No no inside edges for those, but I mean, it's kind of a small space, so um, I don't really think you'd need, need it on there. The only other die we've not talked about are these two dies rather, because there's two, are these two here. 
I can pick it up. Those two there. And this bad boy here, which is absolutely fabulous. It makes um, to make yourself some flowers so your flowers could go with the leaf. Isn't that pretty? You can see that. So if you've never done one of these before, when it when it cuts out, it looks a bit like that, a bit like a snail shell, I suppose. And all you do is I use a quilling tool, but you can use a cocktail stick or your pokey tool, anything like that. And you literally wind it towards you. Just keep winding until you get to the end. And the beauty of these is that you can always match, you know, with shop bought flowers. Um, you can't always get a good match with the colour, but you can with this because you're using your um, the, the card that you choose. So it comes out like that and you'll see you've got like a little round platform. All you need to do is add a little bit of glue inside the flower there. Come on, out you come. A little bit there and a little bit on that little round platform like that and then glue it together now the tighter you wind this the smaller your flower so you've got a choice whether you can um, leave it kind of loose or wind it quite tight so that one's been um, left quite loose and that one's been wound a bit tighter the thing to remember with these is um, I've used a double-sided pa uh, cart paper here paper rather this is from our rustic rose six by six pad so if I wanted this like I've done here. If I wanted that pattern to be um, the, the pattern that I see, I need to put my die face down on that pattern. Okay. If I wanted that that one I, to, to, to be the most visible, I would put it down there. That's all there is to those. Okay, so that's all our dies. So now let's um, have a little look at what you can make with them. some ideas um, for ways that you can use um, the set of dies. So let's go ahead now and put one together. What I've done here, I've kept it simple. I haven't decorated this one. So it's just the basic construction. How you decorate it um, is obviously up to you. So I've gone ahead and cut everything out. We need two of the hexagon um, bases and then we need six of the side panels and we need three with the slit and three without that's quite important so um what all i've done with these is i put a strip of tape on the base on on the on the wrong side if you will bent that in and and then i've just reinforced my creases like that so you go ahead and you do that on every one and then to put it together let's take the tape off there that literally just sits in there like that and I'm going to go, whoops a daisy, I picked two up there by mistake, you're going to go round the outside with the others. Now it's important that you um, alternate one with a slit and one without, so that one hasn't got one, this next one will have one. That, next one, one without. And you go around there and I'll see you, I'm going to speed this up if I can, and um, I'll see you at the end when they're all on. Hey, okay, so they're all on. 
Um, now, um, and I've used, as you noticed, I use tape for that. The next um, stage, I'm going to use my deluxe adhesive for the simple reason. It gives me a little bit of time to slide these side bits into place. I, I mean, it grabs quite quickly, so it's no, it's no biggie. So, OK, let's go ahead and do that. Firstly, um, we're going to do the bottom layer. So I'm going to put glue. Let's put that flat and you can see a little bit of glue on here and a little bit on that side. And then they're just pinched together like that. And what I do is I'll hold, I hold that together. Sorry, I've not gone out of shot there. Before, well, I put a little bit of glue on the next side here. messy and I'm going to go round again and I'm going to speed this up and I'll see you at the end when they're all attached. Okay so that's the first layer done and now all we're going to do now is repeat the same with the next stage which is the middle section. We're going to do exactly the same thing, glue them together uh, sorry a little bit of glue and then pinch them together okay a little bit of glue there and there pinch them together pinch them together and then move on to the next one okay i shall go round and i'll see you at the end Okay, so they're all stuck now. The only thing left to do is to close it up and then reinforce the base. So to close it up, move them out of the way. This is why it's important to alternate them. And all you're going to do is you're going to take opposite sides. So this, this is the side without the slit and that literally just feeds through the side with the slit like that. I hope you can see it because my hand's probably in the way okay now we've done that we'll move on to the next one just pull it through give it a little twist and it will lock in place okay and then the last one there we go last one's in place whoops a daisy I'm saying be careful and then I'm yanking it Oh, come on, don't be silly. There we go. Thought it'd see it my way in the end. OK, so there's your box done. The only other thing I like to do, because I don't like to see the um, rough bits on the bottom, is I'm just going to add a little bit of glue onto the bit this um, second base that I cut out and then I'll just pop that on the top if you're wondering what cardstock I'm using it's the um, apricot orange craft perfect such a pretty color very soft okay leave that to dry and then it's done and that's our delicate daisy gift box i hope you've enjoyed um this video uh, if you haven't already subscribed um why not do that and then you won't miss any more and also click the bell to get a notification take care and i will see you again soon stay safe bye